Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? Hope everybody's well today. I'm home from work. Yay. And it's Thursday, which means it's a long stream night. Yeah. Stuff's crooked. You do. All right, anyways. Uh, so it's a long stream night, which is really kick-ass. Uh, I'm excited to be in some more Mass Effect. I'm going to be wearing my headset tonight because I've noticed in my VODs and things I push to YouTube, I got a, a slight echo uh, going on. I need to troubleshoot that, but there isn't an echo when I'm wearing my headset. So it's obviously coming from my speakers and whatnot. And uh, I've downloaded a virtual audio cable, essentially. And once I figure out how to work that, I'll have OBS only record from that. So pretty much it's only going to be getting game stuff and we can get rid of the echo because it won't be picking up what my speakers are doing. That's what I'm hoping, but I just I don't know a whole lot about it. I was messing around with it before stream, so not quite all the way there, but I will. And once I get that figured out, then no more headset, so it'll work out really well. But anyways, I'm ready to get into some Mass Effect. Yes, it's going to be amazing. And I hope you're all having a great day. Swoopa, Vombry, Fantasy Diablo, what's up? Ooh, we also have a nerd block opening tonight. Yeah. So let's get into the Mass Effect, shall we? Hmm, let me see here. Let me see. Because I'm sure that I actually have that audio cable stuff in here somewhere. I'm actually going to look for that real quick. Hey Logic, how are you? My game should be launched here shortly. Just give me a second because I was checking something here. I should have this EXP soundboard. I had some kind of like virtual audio cable thing. I just gotta find it. Anyway, but I was messing with it. And I uh, hope to get it working here soon. What's up, peeps? How are you doing, buddy? So let's pop into that Mass Effect. He is not the droid you're looking for. That's that's very true, peeps. Very true. Um, so not only do we have our nerd block opening tonight, but I'm also going to show you guys a new... Uh, what you call it? Lamra! Hey, how's it going? How are you? Hope everything's well. Anyways, yeah, um, I forgot fucking train of thought, sorry. I, uh, I have another announcement to make tonight. We have a new overlay because we'll be starting doing creative streams here soon. And it's a debut of the new overlay that I just got done. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. I think you guys are definitely... Oh, no, no, you didn't interrupt, Lamar, it's fine. No, I just, my, my brain wasn't working, so I was like, oh, hey, how's it going? What was I thinking about again? So, yeah, it definitely wasn't your fault. But, yeah, so I'm getting that thing working. Um, i got to find my audio cable thing and figure out how to do that virtual audio cable so I can get OBS to start capturing correctly. We've been having a lot of echo in the Mass Effect stream, and I'm trying to fix that. So, for tonight, I'll be playing with my headset on. Um, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm glad you're all here. And uh, nerd block tonight. And let me tap out real quick and show you guys this. Check this out. You ready? Boom! Creative stream height. Wifey's computer's right here, so here's the other camera. So you'll be able to see her doing crochet. You'll see me up here doing things, and we'll either have a game over here, and, or stuff that I'm doing, like you know, video editing or uh, graphic stuff, or yeah, whatever. So yeah, the new creative stream overlay. Good stuff. And uh, yeah, back to. Mass Effect. So, Lammer, how are you doing today? Oh, you said good. Never mind. Haha, <laughs> as I was. Peeps, I'm doing good, buddy. I'm actually having a pretty good day. It's uh, it's pretty neat. Pretty damn good day so far. I'm glad that you're all here. Lammer, Peeps, Swoopa, Logic, Fantasy Diablo, Evil Bunny. It's great to have you all here. But I've been having a pretty damn good day thus far. Even better, now that I'm here hanging out with you wonderful people on Twitch and playing The Mass Effect. So, ooh, damn it, just broke a little bit more again. I really need to 
fix this thing. Yeah, my headset's foobar. Kind of. My headset's not very happy with me, so I haven't been wearing it in a while. But anyways, you guys shouldn't get Echo anymore. Uh, well, not while I'm wearing this, at least. So. Let's get back to it. Pretty damn excited. Alright, so here we are. We have uh, just got a Vermeer. So those of you that's played Mass Effect before, you know uh, what's about to happen. Those of you that haven't, it's a pretty cool planet. Reminds me a lot of the um, the planet at the end of Knights of the Old Republic. You know, when we go see all the uh, the Rakata and all that kind of shit. So this is what this reminds me of, just the way it looks and stuff. But uh, it's pretty damn neat. I love the mods that I have installed make this game look fucking phenomenal, despite it being made in 2008 and uh, everything like that. Like this is just beautiful game, beautiful game. Them mods, though, right? Um, anything down there to worry about? I think I've already sniped those things, so. Thank you. Anything special in here? Ben... Guess not. I was looking for loots. You know, it's an RPG. I always check your corners, right? Look for extra loots. So you have... Oh, do I... I like the Mako, actually. I, I, I love the Mako. Time for more XP. Boom! Got him. But yeah, I, I've always liked the Mako, Lamar. I mean, it. one of my favorite parts of the game is... Messing around with the Mako. All the explorations, a lot of fun. I've always enjoyed, uh, you know, it's, just, it's a simple rover, yet it's really kick ass. Watch out, guys. Yeah, I've, I've always liked the makeup. Uh, yeah, the Andromeda should be bringing back the Mako, actually. From what I read. Or heard. I don't know, one of the two. Read, heard, was told. Scuttlebutt. All that good stuff. Well, there's a lot of stuff around here, huh? A lot, of, a lot of red dots has me worried. Take him out. Kaboom. Get off me, bro. In route. Yeah, I don't know, I just... I think the vehicle is really cool. I really like the exploration part of it all. Alright, let's get some extra XP because you get more XP for killing them than you do or with rifles than you do with the Mako. Damn it. Right, let's go back. Too far away from the Mako. Don't want to run that far away. Alright. If there was anything that the Mako was actually lacking... Well, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the graveyard. I greatly appreciate that. Actually, just reminds me of something. I don't have my fucking dashboard up where I can see it, so. But yeah, Lambert, I really do appreciate that follow. You rock. Ba 
bum 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 Mass Effect music! Yeah! At least I can hear it a lot better wearing my headset than when I wasn't earlier, so there's that. The only thing I don't like about wearing my headset, I mean, it's a great headset, it's comfortable, it has great sound. I can't hear shit around me, so my cats are being little assholes and running around and getting into stuff. I can't, like, nah, stop that, because I don't know when they're doing stuff. Or, you know, when my wife gets home. Um... Uh, this is the G35, actually. Style spotted. Melted. Two hundred XP is better than eighty. Yeah, leveled up, so that's good. Actually, if you want to know anything about my build and stuff that I have, oh, nice! That's awesome, Lamer. Yeah, if you guys look down below, and you can actually uh, look at my buttons and stuff down on the channel. If you click on the one that says PC specs, you guys should click on it. It should take you to my actual build in a uh, Amazon wish list. And I believe my headset's on there. Not, actually, I may have forgotten to put my headset on there. But I have my mic and all the rest of my shit for my setup, too. Uh, yes, tactical armor, for sure. Rex, you're going to get another one in uh, fitness. Garrus, you're going to get another one in... I don't know if I want to give you sniper rifle. I'm going to make you go first aid, actually. Oh. Big boom. Ah, uh, sniped him with the Mako. Yeah. I think the only difference between this and the G930s is the 930s are wireless, I think. Oh shit, getting jammed. about cat no. Ooh. oh I'm sorry did I break your concentration? hey Ashley thank you so much for that host my host notification always scares me thank you so much Ashley hi Osiris let me pet you for those of you that haven't met my uh, my Bengal cat Osiris this is him hey buddy he was demanding pets so I must love the cat but thank you so much, Ashley, for that host. The Wild Smashbot has appeared. And all of you out there watching from Ashley's channel, hey, how's it going? I'm Fantaphobia. You've seen me around, I'm sure, sometimes in Ashley's channel. And I'm playing Mass Effect 1, modded and beautiful. And I'm also scratching my cat's butt right now. Hi, cat. What do you want? Ah! I gotta lick your balls when I put you on the camera. Yeah, so there we go. He's gonna lick his balls now. Yeah, wonderful. 
Super Storm. What's up, dude? Welcome back. Ooh, hello. Goodbye. Boom. Goodbye. Mustard. What's up? Welcome back. How are you? So, this planet here is a big turning point in the story, actually. So, I would say if any of you have never played Mass Effect 1 and would like to uh, keep a relatively spoiler-free experience for yourself... Woo! Yeah! Thank you so much for that host, Starbuck! You fucking rock! Anyways, yeah, if you guys want to spoiler free and all that kind of stuff, um, I'll let you guys know when uh, that's going to start. Kitty scratches. Yes. Alright, and in case you guys are wondering why I'm wearing my headset today, I just noticed uh, a few days ago when I was doing my YouTube videos that, uh, that uh, I had a lot of echo going on. So I didn't really want to subject you guys to that until I fixed that shit. I checked you out, yeah, but the stream aspect one is always cool. Hey, thanks, Starbuck. I really appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Froster! K. Cohen, what's up? What's up, you guys? Ice fire. Damn! Did I break your concentration? Oh, Sora, thank you so much. Are you really? Are you trying to like try to mess with me right now, bro? Boom goes your shields. Woo! Don't be sniping me. Don't tase me, bro. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the graveyard. You absolutely rock. There we go. Is that all the little fucking leapfrogs? Okay. In case you guys didn't know, uh, I am playing a modded Mass Effect. Um, heavily modded, actually. Like, over 5 gigs worth of texture fixes. So, uh, if you guys want to know what mods I'm running, I have a command for that. And all you need to do is ask. But it's actually only two mods. It's just huge and fucking crazy. Thank you so much for the host, Froster. Damn, bro. Damn. But it's really good to see you all. Welcome here. Oh, thanks, Jenkins. Boom! There it is. Oh, sorry, did I break your concentration? I didn't mean. It. It's so awesome to have you all here. So glad you all came over from Ashley's hosted uh, channel, or Frosters, or Sora's, or whatever channel you're here from. From the host, thank you so much for being here, and I hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself here as we're playing some Mass Effect One on PC, modded and beautiful. And, uh, woo, hello. What's up, big guy? Wanna dance? Let's dance. Alright, so now it's time to get crazy with it. I'm going to see if I can get extra XP by sniping this big old bastard. Yeah! There we go. Uh, my bot is here. I just don't know where the hell... What, what's going on with him? No, my bot's definitely here. Hmm. I guess... Give it a second, Jenkins. Try it. Try it now, because you're just now showing up on the bot list. Jenkins. Usually if you just hop in and the bot hasn't registered you yet, it wouldn't do it. Yearman Chambers! I like that name. Welcome, how you doing? That's awesome. Hey, Zar! Welcome back, buddy. The Ninja 1111. Or 111, sorry. Triple One. Ninja Triple One. Oh my god! Lasers! Lasers! 
Boom! Yeah, I'm gonna snipe you. Woo! Shit! You calm yourself there, guy. Damn, dude. Oh, fuck! That was a bad idea. Okay, get back in, get back in. I'm being greedy for XP, I'm gonna get myself killed. Will somebody say, uh, oh, okay, thanks, Starbuck. I appreciate letting me know that. Rex got wrecked. Yeah, he did. Good God. Smashing it. Running over. <laughs> I can. I, I do get less XP by killing them with the Mako. That's why I wanted to hop out and snipe those assholes. But it's so awesome to see you all in here. Oh, thanks. I kind of actually already had a defense command, I thought. Yeah, we gotta make it, we gotta edit it so it's uh, an everybody command instead of just a mod command. Jenkins. There's no way to do that. I just uh, need to fuck around with the bot a little bit. But yeah, Starbuck is absolutely right. Your XP is cut in half. Oh, hello. Rick. Ha ha. Look at me, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jenkins. At least the bot's working. You mind doing the ME mods uh, one again, please, Jenkins? Boom! One hit. 1200 XP for that one kill. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Yo, who's sniping? Who you be? Where you be? There we go. There you go, guys. There's the mods I'm running. Screw you, sniper. Okay. But, uh, yeah, guys, so check out that link. It'll send you to the stuff that I'm doing. Ox already on and stuff. I turned it on when I first came into the stream. Oh, Jesus. No! I haven't saved in a minute, too. Shit. Well. Damn it, Bobby. That's not good. I just realized that the Mako was taking a lot of damage. That's actually what happened. And it got blowed up. It went boom. So, whoopsie. Mods! Give me a death. Oh, you guys five push-ups now. Damn it! <laughs> I'm a big old dummy. Oh, well. I'm not too far back, actually. Oh, shit! <laughs> um... Oh, shit! All right, boys, let's make it happen. Woo! 
Explosions! Boom! Oh! Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Who else wants some? Melted you, brother! There we go, melted that guy. Ooh, ooh, and he got melted. All right. Ooh, hello. Yeah. Ooh. Much better. That's a valid parking spot. Damn right it is. <laughs> Woo. All right, well. Did I get a mod to add a death for me? If not, I'll, I'll keep track, but. Ha ha! I jammed your weapon! Woo! There we go. Batty! I'll just call you Batty. Betty Adendi? Is that it? Zvotnik? What's up? How are you? How's everybody doing today? Move forward, gentlemen. We got your back. Okay. Damn it, Rex. There we go. Got him moving. Beautiful. Alright. Let's uh, go ahead and get what's in here. Those guys are handling that. Okay. Yeah! Ooh, yeah. Okay. Much better. Alright, there we go. So we're not too far... Oh, not too far off from where we... Damn it. There we go. Not too far off from where we were. Now that I can speak again. And uh, we'll go back to it. We had Garrus and Rex with us. What is... Let's see. Rex is using a shotgun. I guess I'll make him use that. Garrus can snipe. But yeah, I guess I'll use that too. So, that'll work. That way, Rex is a little bit longer range. At least until we get up in the middle of the business. <sighs> so, everyone that's here... If I haven't greeted you already, welcome, and I hope you're having a good day today. Like, I really do. Uh, R2, I right hear behind you, and Luke, stand up. I also say hi. Uh, Bubble Fett says hi. I see my, uh, my Darth Vader stress ball. Yeah. I don't know where my cats went. They're somewhere. Meow hi. Bum, 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 bum. Bobble fit, hell yeah. Rex, you lazy ass. There <laughs> uh, we go. I'm playing an infiltrator, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. So I have tech powers and sniper rifle. Male Shepherd. Uh, Paragon, by the way. I'm gonna wreck it! Gonna wreck 
<laughs> I had to. Betty Bags! I like your name. Ah! No! Okay, boys. I've got him sufficiently weakened. Let's get those big hits. There we go. There's like 400 XP difference. Boom. Wow. Alright. Get up, Rex, you lazy ass. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Let's go. Boom. Watch out. Ha, 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 ha. That XP. Gotta get the XP. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do this time, guys? I'm gonna save it. Something I didn't do last time, so we don't have to, you know, do all this again. That'd be smart, I think. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe. You guys be the judge. I'm not a smart man, but I know what F5 is. Hey, Zar. Welcome back, buddy. Jason7430. Hello, hello. Anybody watching from uh, Froster's channel, Ashley's channel, Sora's channel, uh, and I'm sorry, somebody else hosted me too. I'm going to say it was Starbuck. Um... Anybody joining me from the host of channels, please feel free to come hang out. Like, come speak in, uh, in chat and stuff. Gather some onks, which are uh, our currency we use. He can't shoot me! Kaboom! Ooh, damn! There you are. That's a long shot. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Get up, get up, Shepard. Oh, whoa. Get in. Oh. 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 You know what? I'll, uh, I'll play this one safe. Screw you. Ah. <laughs> Run, Shep, run! <laughs> Go away! <sighs> I was scared. I was scared. Oh, I gotta move into... Oh, wow. What items? Uh, oh, I'm gonna keep that. Let's see, I'll reduce that to Omnigel. Okay. Um, hmm. Keep the kinetic buffer, rid of the combat sensor, rid of the combat sensor. Okay. I got a lot of stuff! Hmm. Let's see. Is there any kind of upgrade? I don't think so. Gotta make room! What armor mod am I using? Um, kinetic buffer on Shepard. Also kinetic buffer. Garrus, kinetic buffer and shield. Ooh, actually, I can, you know, I can upgrade that. Rex. That'll work. Okay. 
Back to what I was doing. Okay, so he didn't have any upgrades, so... Boom. I'm a gel, yes. So let me do this real quick. Sorry for taking out some valuable time from you wonderful individuals that are watching. A lot of sniper rifles. Wow. I'm a loot whore. Alright. There we go. Whoa. Save. Yes. Kitty! Osiris. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, the kitty. Oh, my goodness. Yep, I sure does. My giant cat. Whoop. Oh, Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Pounds, by the way, he's a giant cat. I think it just pooped at me. Shot it in the butt. Camera's way over here. Okay. Bump. Aw, I thought I could still hit this ragdoll. Yeah. Alright, so. David Hellas, what's up? How are you? Philo, Zydex, Videx, hello. Bum bum bum, ba bum bum. Where be the mean Geth? Woo. Oh yeah. Oh hello. Go away. Let's do this. Woo! There must be a way to shut that. Big explosions. Oh, hello, boys.
do 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 do. See that battlefield noise? Oh, I don't shoot, shoot fast anymore. Garrus, where are you, bro? Like, get with the program there, Turian. Where are you stuck down here? Like, really? Garrett. Oh my God, Garrus. Are you? Garrus, we've talked about that. You're not supposed to drink when we're in the Mako. Why are you over here, stuck in the Mako, you big dummy? Come on. God, aliens, man. You just... What can you do with them, you know? Hey, Link's Panda. Welcome back, buddy. How you doing? Bum, 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 bum. My face itches. Oh, I got cat hair on me. I need to brush Osiris really bad. It messes with my face. All right. What do we got going on here? Nothing? Nothing? Ooh, hey. Loots! Gotta get loots. Oh, by the way, everybody, uh, this is everybody here and from the host of channels and whatnot. I'm doing a nerd block unboxing today. So uh, when my wife gets home, because it's her nerd block, which she'll be home in about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, uh, we'll be opening a nerd block. So I'm super fucking excited for the August nerd block. The August loot crate video should be on the YouTube now. You guys missed out on what was in my loot crate this month. I need sexual healing. Wait. Medical healing. Not sexual at all. Medical healing. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Boom. The Harpoon 7? Striker 7? Eh. Loot. All the loot. Okay. Disable the gun. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Now. We need to continue on your mark. Let's do this. <laughs> Who else wants some? Huh? Who else wants some? Do -do -do. All right. Uh, can I get a moderator to please do the exclamation point ME mods command to show these lovely people uh, what mods I'm using to uh, make Mass Effect look so damn good? I mean, this game is, what, seven years old? Whoa! Oh, God. That was a Normandy. I was like, what the fluff? Okay. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Geth. Uh... Ooh, this will be fun. Death shot. Boom! Got his ass. All right, what else we got here? I can't use that for a minute. Hello. Oh, hello, friend. I missed. Not that time. Boom! Alright, who else wants some? Hello. Why are you shooting me? Oh! Ouch, son. In case you guys are wondering what sniper rifle I'm using, by the way. Um. Here we go. I also have the uh, the pistol, and then I gave Rex the uh, the shotgun version of it. And I believe Ashley has the other one. Yeah, it's insane. Does he have an upgrade for that? Yes. All right. Yes. Seven. It's just called Seven. There's no name, just Seven. <laughs> you can have that, Garrus. I need to give you a better... I don't think he actually has a good one. Yeah, he's got a good sniper.
There we go. There we go. Much better. Ooh, leveled up. Yes. Um, hmm. That's nice. Sniper rifles. Yeah. Rex is getting one on fitness. Garrus is going to get advanced first aid. Boom, boom. Whoosh. Saving? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do this. So. Ah! No! Bad Geth. Yeah. Whew. Good. Messed him up. Love that pistol. Mass Effect Musics. Damn right. We got this. Okay. Um. Footsteps, 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 footsteps. Do, 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 uh, someone let Yeoman Chambers know that not only do I love their name, I really hope they come around once we get to Mass Effect 2. Because that would just be awesome. I'd appreciate it if you guys carried forward that message for me. Unless Yeoman Chambers can read my lips very well. I'm sure that needs to be relayed. Woo! Man, man. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Thank you, Lamra. Am I saying your name right, by the way? Is it Lamra? Or is it Lamira? Probably Lamira, isn't it? I'm probably messing it up. Look, words are hard sometimes, so if I ever butcher anybody's name, please, please let me know that uh, I'm being a dick and saying your name wrong. Lamira! See? Fucking Samsonite! I was way off! Lamira. I will say it from now on correctly. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay Look at them textures. Oh. Look at these mod textures. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, ah. Infiltration Regiment STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. 
This, guys, is how the game's supposed to look. This is from 2008. I told the council to send a fleet. Man. Uh... We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here. It's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. Oh, shit. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. No fucking way. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. No, it's not, Kikuan. It's not, buddy. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink... I haven't played in a long time, Kikoan, but this is like my fourth time playing. I just... I, I love the game so much when I, I see how good it looks with these mods. It's my first time playing it with these mods and beating it on my PC. My other three times playing it has been on the Failbox 360. Um... So being able to experience this game again, I mean, it's... This is the first video game that's ever made me cry. Like, Mass Effect. I've I, I become so emotionally invested with the characters and in the story of this game, dude. It just... I, it sucks me in every time. I love it. So, yeah, I, I absolutely, uh... Go ahead, Gavin. You know, just we'll like it. Back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hey, hurt. little cat. Well, it might, actually. Just Come do here. it carefully. Come here. Well, I was gonna show you guys the little cat. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. All right. Well... Explosion! All right, guys. Oh, nice, get going. Oh yeah, man. Captain Kirahe. All right, where is this other guy I can buy shit from? I've been on this mission far too long. My group won't even break. I'll talk to Rex in a second. I agree, Lamira. Lamira, sorry. This is I'm working right, on it. Shepherd. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. 
take us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. Yes. When we find Saren, I want his head. Boom! All that Paragon. Hells, yes, so. Woo, Super Paragon. I love Rex. He's so amazing. Rex is like the greatest companion ever. Fucking, he's he's great. So he said I could buy something from a dude. Where the fuck's this dude? I can. Oh, he's probably in this town over here. Right With all these defenses, Sarah must be hiding something. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. These Solarians seem pretty tough. So we hold up the pressure. Shut your face, Carthonassi. Hi, Tally. Bum, bum, bum. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Grenade upgrade, metagel upgrade. Yes! Another license! Woot. Let's sell things. I have a lot of money, by the way. <laughs> I have a lot of items still, too. Alright. I'll save that. Uh, I don't need this in here rounds. Connect buffer, we'll keep that. Stabilizer, I have better. Keep polonium rounds. Here the rail extension. Shield modulator. Okay. Okay. Hey, Lynx, what's up, buddy? Wow! <laughs> Kelly Chambers. Yep. Alright, made lots of money. Save. 
Templowski, Fruit 21, what's up? Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turi and ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Here, you know what? I just got an idea. I'm going to tweet, which by the way, since I'm talking about it here, I'm going to tweet Kimberly Brooks, who I've met before, and if you guys don't know who that is, that is the uh, voice actress for Ashley. I'm going to uh, include her in a tweet real quick, because I told her I would. Boom. There we go. And thank you for the retweets. It's Vol. You rock, buddy. Thank you so much. You too, Fantasy. There we go. I tweeted Kimberly Brooks. So that way she'll, uh... I met her at Dragon Con last year, actually. And the voice actor for Male Shepherd. And the actress that who did Jack in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Alright, there we go. Had to make that happen. I kind of forgot, like, a year ago, I told Kimberly, like, hey, I'm totally going to do Mass Effect one time. You should uh, come by and check it out. So she said, she said that she would. So, I, uh, keeping up with my promise. Boom. There we go. Uh, let's see. Where do we take the nuke? And how there do we, we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off. Thanks, the Maris. Infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. <laughs> it does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask That'd be kind of cool. Thanks. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. That's a bold request, Cotton. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right. Thank you so much, Maris. Without both teams at the best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. <laughs> if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Well, guys, I have to give love to Ashley because later I hopefully plan to make love to Ashley. So, Caden, I love Car Carthur Nassi, bro, but. Elenko, you're with You're out of here, bro. Keep it simple, understood? Laters. Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me out. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems hmm. clear enough. What will the other teams be called? 
Eigor, Manovai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory. To exactly. These names will remind me. Myra, you're definitely on point fight. with that. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have oh, any chance me. of success. I want to know more about the bond. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Give me a quick rundown of the Oh boy. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. Okay. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Thank Let's you, do Lester. this! Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Kate? Hey, it's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your... Epic concerns. speech time! We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies and bay hidden mats. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Hell yeah. Our influence will stop staring. Nice, Lynx. In the battle That's funny. We will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Kirhe's hold the line speech has always been fantastic to me. Alright, so who am I going to take with me? Um, I'm thinking I should take Tally and Rex, actually, because Tally would be great against all the Geth I'm fighting. And Rex, of course, is awesome because he's Rex. So, I think is what we should do. I'm either going to take Tally or Ashley. Because Ashley, God, the amount of damage between Rex and Ashley is going to be insane. Hey, thanks for that host, Maris. You rock, buddy. So Tally or Ashley is the question, because Tally has the tech strength. Mm. To really mess up the the Geth. But Ashley just crazy combat strength. Cause I mean I have all the powers that Tally does with the exception of hacking. So Ah, we're gonna take Tally. Let's do it. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Thanks for the host, Lynch Panda. We'll start our Appreciate it, buddy. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Boom. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I love my uh, my host alert. It's a damn alert. Right? You're like, ah! Whoa! Hm. Loud noises! That's Pulp Fiction for it. Everybody looks Pulp Shadow Fiction. On the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with the Igor team. Manovai. Oh. Hey, Ezzo teams, move. Time to get some attention.
What are you guys even shooting at? Move up. Communication disrupted. Boom, boom. All right. We got this. Okay. So, as we continue. Something scrambled the target. We got a shot. Lieutenant Olenko, take the heat off man of mine. save point. Alright. Off we go. Ooh, shit. Check your corners. Whoosh, whoosh. They're calling sat strikes. They had all watch for con stations. Alenko, can you see anything? He punched Tally in the face. What a dick. better.
Actually, I have a good idea. Let's do this. There we go. I'll stand up here and snipe. Little cat! Hey, baby! Hi, sis. Hi, darling. Little kitty. Hello. Hello, little kitty. How are you, baby? Hi. It is a little cat. Say hi. Hi. Little kitty. All right. Oh, yeah. I can totally look up Tally with some awesomeness. Yee, I love my kitties. They're both Bengals, too. Where are they? Meow hype, yeah. Uh, somebody do the BTTV command, by the way. If you wouldn't mind. All right, people know that if they don't know about Blue, uh, Better Twitch TV, they at least know that it exists, and that's how we have emotes within the channel. It's pretty awesome. My people go. Thanks, Lynx. Alright. Hello. Yo, back up. Oh. What the f destroyed. We don't actually, Lynx. Uh, but if one of you guys want to make us one, I'll submit it. How should our heart look? Should it be like an actual... I think we should do an actual heart. Like... An actual heart. <laughs> Maybe even like a decaying one, because, you know, we're in the graveyard and such. I think that would be hilarious. And no one actually has a, a no-shit heart. Oh, my lord! Woo! Screw you, sniper. Fine, nobody I know. <laughs> Always check your corners. RPG time. I have so much money. My lord. I don't use the quick slots. I don't know why they've been up there the whole time. I've never used them not once. Because I'd rather do like this. I, I enjoy the way the UI and everything is. Okay. 
fitness, tally, max decryption. All right, yeah, we got stuff. Let's do this. One more save for reasons. Well, I don't have uh, Photoshop or anything like that linked, so I depend on you guys to make that happen for me. Ooh, by the way, since I've already saved the game, I want to show you guys something. It's pretty awesome. You'll get to see it when Wifey gets home, which should be here any minute now. Uh, check this out, guys. We have a new overlay, because uh, I told you we plan on doing some creative streams here soon, especially because the wife does crochet. Check this out, y'all. Boom! Creative stream. So the wifey sits here. This is hers. At her computer. I'm here. We can do stuff over here. Info and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. What are you meowing about? Isis. Hey, girl. What are you doing? Isis. Hey. What are you doing? Come here. You ever hear meowing? Wifey hype? Yeah, she should actually be here soon. And, um, we also have, uh, a nerd block unboxing today, so that'd be really, really cool. So make sure you guys stick around for that. There we go. Game's up. Boom. Let's go. So the only bad thing about playing with all these texture mods that I play with, uh, it's something that takes a little bit to tab back into the game. Hmm. Why can't I do work the door control? What am I missing? Hmm. Did I mess something up? Location tower, setup link, refueling platform. Yeah. What am I missing? I had to have missed something. Hey, Lacunas! Console near a door. Awesome! Thank you, Lacunas! We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us. But they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. There we go. Here we go! Go, go, go! Cracker man, what's up, buddy? Welcome back, man. Ooh, shoot, this got real. Shit. 
No, Shepard. Oh. Yes. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Lapunas. <laughs> you rock. Welcome back, Freckin' Man. It's good to see you, buddy. Is that all that's over here? I hope it is. Check for loots! All the loots! Any more loots? I don't see any more loots. We've done it. Italian getting shit for heels. <laughs> Alright. Make sure Tally has the best she can get. So that'll work for her. That'll work for her. Pistol. Alright. There we go. That'll work. get down there what's that noise what's going on who's there can anyone hear me oh, let's be down that way okay Transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was often indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a great threat. Far more important. I watched wow. good people reduced to blindless husks. There's many who left. Others died during the experiments. I ended them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Mm. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people. I don't think he fully understands it. Wow. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell. But then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. We need it. Okay. These look docile. Their minds are gone. No, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but leave them like this. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end it.
Okay, well, I freed them. Disable the A guns. I guess I can't do that from here. What do you want? I told you everything. I. Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance wow. six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd say anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. We don't let him out. He's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small in the noise. Just don't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I can't hold them over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? Damn simple! Oh, hello. Alright, at least we did the right thing. Right? All the goodies. Can't get past that yet, which is okay, because we need to uh, shut down those damn things. So we need to go back. Alright. So those don't control anything. Kill those guys. Nothing, nothing. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, didn't see that before. Okay. Anything here? No. No. There's the elevator. What does this go to? Yeah, this is what I came out of. Okay. So what does the elevator go to? I guess I have to go down it. I'm just assuming. Can't save. What the hell? So if I don't die... This is important. 
important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. You will not destroy the work we have started. Ooh, you got wrecked, bro. I just blew you up. Nice. That was a thing of beauty. Damn, Alice shot off the freaking A towers. I can save the game again. Woo. Yeah, I like this mission too, Lynx. I really do. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Granathanopt is neurospecialist, but this job isn't worth dying on, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're oh, that's a cool one too. On organic mines. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. Hey, Gordon Freeman, welcome back. How are you? Know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. Oh man, it's I love this. Indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave. Like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Oh Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. Mm. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Hmm. Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. Hmm. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Oh boy. The indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There Who ate my ego? Hey, what's up? How are you? Emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom the subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh. I like the way you <laughs> Alright, sounds good, Lamira. I'll hopefully see you soon. I'll be streaming for another, like, four hours, so... Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.
Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Oh yeah. Here we go. Shepard. That's the real shit right there. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of Yeah, it is. Omega, you're absolutely right. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. Hmm. Simply Let's toss it between are. Rex and Garrus. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them, the legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the path of the sweet desire. There we go. Got him. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because, because we demand it. Hi, wifey. They're harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Oh, I've never played it, Lucanus. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words 
thoughts are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Oh. Oh yeah. We got trouble. And thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the graveyard. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. KSI Road. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Okay. Oh yeah, Rex is definitely right here. Oh yeah, what's up, man? Dog, how you doing? Shepherd's Bay. Shepherd is love, Shepherd is life. Oh, yeah. Don't you dare use that word in the same sentence as shepherd. That's funny. Alright, here we go. Bum 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 bum. All the explosions. Okay, there we go. Damn it. Okay, there we are. The wonderful wifey lady. Hi, darling. Hi. How are you? How's work? It's fine. Yeah? Hi, guys. The wifey's home. Yeah, uh, so you want to go ahead and do your nerd block? I'm sure you're excited. Nerd block. Well, guys, I guess we'll start what we're doing and do nerd block real quick, won't we? So let me go ahead and save. And we'll tab out. And, uh, you know what's really cool? I could totally bring up our new screen. But no. Well, I want to show everybody that hasn't seen it. You're fine. Check this out, guys. The creative stream overlay. It's new. It's a new thing. It's new. There's the pretty wifey. It's me. Mm -hmm. It's whatever going on on the screen. And we can do things when she's crocheting and we, we can do creative stuff. And I'm editing videos and all that kind of stuff. Hey, thanks, my dog. I do have a hot waifu. She's awesome. But, uh, yeah. So that's what's up. So here's wife. You, I got the big screen on now. Oh, 
Your cam isn't on anymore. Oh, yeah. I'm editing videos and all that kind of stuff. The creative stream overlay. I love it. I think it looks awesome. Got a lot of work to do to it, you know, add it with info and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty neat. What do we got? So yeah. this is the um, this is the August Nerd Block, everybody. Wifey's the uh, the Nerd Block subscriber. I have Loot Crate, and of course, you guys can see the shelf behind us. That's where all of our nerdy stuff goes. Woo, Nerd Block. What we got? Let's do the T-shirt. Ooh, T-shirt. Seems to be. Hi, Osiris. Who you go <laughs> who you gonna call? Nice. Nice. I like that a lot. Hell yeah. Oh, Ernie Hudson. Yo, we should, when we see Ernie Hudson again, you should wear this shirt. Let him sign it. Let him sign it. This is a pretty awesome that's, shirt. I have to say, I that's like really that. cool, actually. It's so I got Fanta Wifey from a nerd block. <laughs> it's soft. Is it? Ooh, that is it. So yeah, there we go. There's Wifey's shirt. Okay, what is this one? Very oh awesome. Oh my gosh. What might this be? No way. Look at this shit, guys. She's throwing me her trash. That's fantastic, guys. Oh, kick ass meter. Particle dispersion. Vapor max. Danger. High voltage. One kilovolt electric shock hazard. Remove power before repair or adjustment. Do not adjust. Vapor containment stream. That is awesome. It's a freaking lunchbox. It's like an ammo can lunchbox. Yeah. But like Ghostbusters. See? That's super cool. There's nothing inside. Oh, let's find out. Yes, yeah, so it is yours. Sorry. Sorry. <gasps> oh, no way! There is something in it. Is it Slimer? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no way. Hold on. There we go. It's That's a Slimer that so was in it. so cool. It's a ghost containment unit, lunchbox, ammo can, whatever you want to use it for, and it came with a Slimer in it. That's cool. That is really cool. Damn. A lot of neat stuff in this one so far. What else we got? There's like some good stuff in there. Yeah, go with containment unit. The coaster of kings. Hmm. What is this? A coaster. Ah. No. Don't Leave stuff alone, cat. Don't mess with a slimer. What is these? Coasters? Yes. What kind of coasters? Like they are Game of Thrones coasters, I think. Let me see what the other symbols are. Yep, they are definitely Game of Thrones mm -hmm. coasters. So, may I? Yes. We have a House ah. Lannister. No. House Stark. House Baratheon. And House Targaryen. Coasters. Cool. Very nice. I like it. What is this? Awkward family postcards. Nice! <laughs> what the heck? Like, I think this is going to be amazing, actually. Awkward family postcards. <laughs> These are like actual postcards that you can send people. Oh, this is and fantastic. Yeah, like they're like legit postcards. And oh man, uh, you guys got to see some of these. This is fantastic. So it's a book of postcards. It's called Awkward Family Postcards. And well, they've got some pretty awkward pictures on them. They're pretty fantastic, I have to say. Oh wow. <laughs> All right, you guys got to check these out. So Awkward Family Postcards. The very first one we open. Look at that. It says, uh, some people were born to shine. 
There we are. <laughs> what it says oh, here we go. Those. All you need is a little push. Kid eating on a slip and slide. Summer is a time for family and sending postcards. And this booklet combines both those things in the most awkward way possible. Good thing denim breathes. Look at that family picture of everybody wearing oh, denim. Good. They must be Canadians. You know, Canadian tuxedo. Oh, wow. Look at that one. That's fantastic. <laughs> Mom was hoping they would come back down to earth. <laughs> oh, God. That's awful. Okay, I gotta show this one to everybody. Yeah, that's not so good. Oh. Whoa. Okay. That's awkward. Next. Awkward. There's 35 cards on this, by the way. Woohoo! Who wants one? Yeah, who wants to send you an awkward postcard? <laughs> a Rubik's Cube. Why, if you got a Rubik's Cube? That's so cool. I've never actually had my own Rubik's Cube. Really? As much as a math person as I am. Hmm. Well. I now have a Rubik's Cube. Wifey now has a Rubik's Cube. That's so cool. No, it's a stress ball. Rubik's Cube stress ball. What? I'm taking this to work. Check that <laughs> out, guys. <laughs> it's so squishy. Flock of seagulls haircut, yeah. Woo, math. Yeah, wifey's good at math, not me. Well, this kind of math you'd be good at. Yeah, I actually can solve Rubik's Cubes. No, but you don't even need to solve this one. That's uh -huh. the... Ah ha ha. You're funny. Ah ha ha ha. Uh -huh. She's so mean to me, guys. What is this? Something to do with the Force Awakens. Not too far... F Ugh. Well... They kind of screw this up for me. They misspelled a word. Anyways, <laughs> not too far from now, in the September Nerd Block, Episode 7, The Force Awakens. It is a period of galactic celebration. Nerd Block, the world's premium subscription box for nerds, will be including an amazing official item from Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, and the September Nerd Block Classic. No Bothans? Bothans? Bothans. No Bothans. Bothans. Bothans were harmed for this information. They should say Bothans, actually, but go ahead. It's okay. But some did pass out due to overexcitement. To get your hands on one of the first amazing items from the upcoming film, all you have to do is stay subscribed to Nerdblock. There will yes. be other galactic surprises in September as the theme is hyperspace. Our network, network of operatives are working hard... No. <laughs> Cat. Our network... Of yeah. operatives are working hard to bring you the best bounty in the galaxy. Yeah. That's awesome. Mine. Star Wars stuff. That's it. Don't even think about that Star Wars item for yourself. Hey. So, have you heard uh, back from them yet? I have not, actually. Darn. I was going to say. I have contacted you? Nerdblock to see if I can get an affiliation with them guys. So, uh, we'll see what happens. So, no bonbons were hurt? <laughs> So, so hopefully they would let us know, and then maybe... Maybe I can hook you guys up with some cool nerd block stuff? Yeah. That'd be really neat if I can get sponsored or by them. Or at least get y'all like a discount code or something. Yeah, what she said, discount code, percentage off and stuff, because nerd block is amazing. All right, so let's do a recap of what was in today's nerd block. Recap. Okay. So of course we have this cool thing tell us about what's coming up in September, some legit Star Wars stuff from Force Awakens. T-shirt. We got this amazing Ghostbusters t-shirt. Check this business out. Whoop. Who you gonna call? Ooh. Awesome t-shirt for wifey. We got our own ghost containment unit. That's really cool. And within the ghost containment unit, we got a Slimer! <laughs> Check it out. Get back in there. All right. And we got some awesome Game of Thrones coasters. Lannister. Stark. Baratheon. Targaryen. And 34... 
Awkward family postcards. They're actual postcards, like, they're no shit postcards, and... 35. 35, excuse me. And they've got some really awkward photos. Like, bruh. Yeah. Awkward stuff. And a squishy Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube stress ball. So. Cora, I'm glad you think so. Um, that was awesome. I like Nerd Block. Actually, I like them both. Like, I like Loot Crate, but I like Nerd Block. Um, they're just really different. Yeah, well, I have Loot Crate for myself. Yep. Wifey has Nerd Block. So we, we get both. And both have come with some really cool stuff. So I'm just glad we get to decorate our nerd shelf yes. with a lot of stuff. And we're going to have my other nerd shelf over there, too, next to Luke. So we have lots of nerdy things in this room. See my clock up there and everything? Oh, yeah. Covered in nerd stuff. So these things just help us. Nice. Now you want to watch Ghostbusters? That's awesome. So what a great nerd block. Holy crap. That's definitely that, something that's excited, excited for. That's, that's very exciting. So... Uh, don't worry if any of you are just joining us and uh, missed out on the Nerd Block opening with the wonderful wifey. I will be posting this to YouTube like I do all the Nerd Blocks and all the Loot Crates that I get. Uh, we actually unboxed my Loot Crate Sunday? Saturday during my 24-hour stream. Um, I've already got that split up. i got to push it to YouTube later today. So those will be up at the end of the afternoon. And now, let's get back to more Mass Effect. Ah, uh, it's going to be great. Bum, bum, bum. And speaking of Blue Crate, see, I got this shirt in Blue Crate. This awesome D&D shirt. So. And for those of you that haven't seen it, here soon, we'll be having creative stream hype. So you got me, and you can see me again. But this is Wifey's computer and her cam, her chair. She'll be sitting here crocheting while I do other things over here on this screen. And uh, it'll be great. I'm really excited to be able to start using this overlay and getting some creative streams out there while she crochets and makes stuff like our really awesome Fantaphobie beanies. That's right, wifey crocheted hats. So we'll be doing some giveaways for these soon, and then they'll uh, be available for sale. She's like, I want to buy one. So they're pretty fantastic. And she, she'll, uh, during these creative things, she'll actually be making things like this. He's actually got four hats made so far. Who made this? Uh, that'd be my buddy Dave, the guy, same guy who did all my other overlays and all the buttons down below on the channel. Oni Light. And uh, don't worry, guys, I'm actually going to have a button for him here soon and uh, for his graphic stuff. So if you guys want a link to who made my stuff, I'll hook you up. All right. Back to the Mass Effect. You watched the live stream yesterday for the KOTFE expansion. Oh, Nice of the Fallen Empire. Oh, no, 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 I did not. I didn't, Strix. It's funny that Dave is one of my friends. <laughs> oh, nice, Link. No, th this Dave uh, is in Belgium. So. All right. More Mass Effect! So, I, I'm wearing my headset, sweetie, because I noticed that there was a lot of echo in my videos. So, I uh, I have a uh, digital audio cable thing, which I should be able to fix that, but I couldn't figure it out today. So, I put on the headset to alleviate some of that. You just don't want to listen to it. I love you. My wife, he's awesome, and so is her nerd block. Boom. Okay. Well, let's get rid of this trash. Boom. All right, let's do this. Mass Effect. I've lost shields. Ooh. Oh, off the wall. Got him. There we go. All right, there we go. Ah, that's why I don't play those kind of games. Go. 
Nice! Woo Sidestep that rocket just in time after Rex just destroyed one of those things with a rocket. There we go. The Terminator 8 assault rifle. Yeah, I think we're good too, Tally. Weight effect. <laughs> yes. Frictionless materials eight. What is what upgrade is that? What is frictionless materials? Ooh, yes, plus 5% damage, plus 20% heat dampening. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Hmm. Eh, I'm fine with him actually having a lot of heat. Hmm. Hmm, nah, that's fine. Goodbye. Oh, explosions. Explosions. Get melted. Oh, hello. Goodbye, shields. Good work on the gun shadow team. Now it's our turn. All right, there we go. That's erect. Damn it. Explosion. The guns are taken care of. I can't save yet, which is kind of unfortunate. Switch to my pistol. Alright guys, let's do this. Oh, I love Rex and Tally. What a great combo. I'm excited to be able to play with Grunt on uh, Mass Effect 2. Grunt's such a badass. He's pretty much a mainstay in my party. That's it. We need to in that game as well. Saving. Alright, let's do this. Whoa! Shutting them down. Whoa! Nice job, Rex. All right, so I get a point. We got technical armor. Uh, oh yeah, advanced assassination for sure. Uh, Rex, uh, you're gonna get advanced immunity. Tally, we're gonna give you more damping. Okay. What level am I now? 44. Cool. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I like the sniping and the pistols. But it's mainly because I like the tech powers. That was sent to me from them when I closed the account. Thank you. Oh, right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Hey. No. Something tells me something bad's about to happen out here. Normandy. There we go. And there it is. Bomb 
is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The guests have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Okay, let's do this. Tally and Rex. They've done great for me so far. I'm gonna stay with them. See, I don't know situation passed, but most. Yeah. I like this. Uh, I think these arms are cool and all, but. I don't know. I just have fun with the tech powers, and I don't know. I like sniping. It's, it's fun. That's kind of how I feel about the pistols, though, Lacuna. I, I, I really like the uh, the pistols. They're powerful, nice rate of fire, very accurate, especially when you're an infiltrator like me. And plus, it's going to be a very fun class to play in uh, Mass Effect 2. That triple shot, though, right? I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Alright. Can't leave Ashley to die. She's gonna be our love interest. Steam controllers. That'd be cool. Oh shit. I've lost shields.
applaud you, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Salarian was a real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. But I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of pity freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, but they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we oh, make ourselves Sarah. useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Solomon. Though I was aware of the dangers, I hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid mm. he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more Jesus. control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. The transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. Mm. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Oh, wow. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth heard it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change. Silly Saren. But as tools, they are useful. We will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. You're Tell ridiculous. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop it. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. Hmm. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer Visions cannot be denied. We are powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way. Yeah, Any no joke, right, Lynx? I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would do my work. You would do our entire civilization. And for that, you must die.
boom, that nuke. Yemen Kelly Chambers has that one right. I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Alenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. We know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm, I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Ash, how far are you going to drag yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose a good soldier over it. Aye, aye, Commander. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Tell me, your visions, have they changed at all? Do you know where the conduit is now? The vision changed, but it's still not clear. That is unfortunate. I am afraid our only choice is to go to Pharaoh's. Maybe we will find what we need there. I'll let Joker know where we're headed. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Here we go. Under Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. A sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, mm -hmm. Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. Oh, However, sorry. as far yeah, as we know, the it's Reapers ridiculous. only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Seraph. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. <laughs> exactly, Chambers. Yep. You're right twice. I don't think you can do it three times in a row, man. I just, it's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Alright. So now's a good time to do some talking to the crew. Let's go talk to Joker. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. <laughs> don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. I'll be okay, Commander. Just... Okay. I love this ship. It's probably one of the coolest things ever. Logic's in love with with Shepard. That's 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 what that is. All right, let's go talk to people. Oh, we have an empty spot on the ship because Caden's not there anymore. <laughs> yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving? I but humanity needs the. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye, Commander. I want to talk to you. Don't need to hear all that. Let's talk to Liara. I 
I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He's trapped inside his own mind. <laughs> Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by yeah. Saren. But he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first I agree with the trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, it's like space, let's not spend Morris. every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. My shipper princess told me you were sincere with that comment. <laughs> oh, logic. There we go. Let's go talk to these peeps. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you bet. The Reaper 9 Sniper Rifle. Ooh, yeah. So that's the, the 7. I might be able to... Hold on. Which one do I have? Oh, okay, so it's the same one I have. I can just get another one and give it to one of my peoples. Yeah, why not, actually? I should probably totally Looking buy that. Supplies? Yes, let's, let's do this. So I'll... Oh, let's compare that. Yeah, I think that Reaper 9 is nowhere close to this. Damn it! Looking Wrong button supplies? again. Let's see what you bet. There we go. Uh, so let's buy another one of these. Another one of those. Another one of those. Another one of those. I'm going to hook my peoples up with the good gear. There's so many things I can sell, but I'll do that in a minute. Okay. Assault Garrus. Command. I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you. Letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Sandy too. I convinced myself that he deserved to die. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> well, I'm going back to see Sam. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I Garrus know. with uh, deep thought here. Is that all you had to say? I thought we well, already had that conversation, Command. actually. I wanted to thank you. I don't have time for this. Oh. Goodbye, Command. Oh, wow, that was like a shitty thing to say. Is he stuck in that loop? Hold on. Command. I don't have time. Oh, uh, damn Goodbye. it. Turn off your calibrations there, Garrus. Command. I want to look forward here. If that, and I, I escaped out of my watch, and I didn't like I'm glad you see it that way. Don't worry. Okay. okay, I guess that's that. Rex. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. <laughs> I won't forget it. Yeah. Just to make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer what I have anything to say about it. Shepard. Shepard. All right, Ashley. Let's talk. Commander. About Lieutenant Alaco. How are you holding up? 
can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me, um, if you don't mind my asking... This goes back to the backstory. It was my job to get everyone else safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember, and I'll do better for it. Yeah. Hey, Mike, what's up, buddy? How are you? Welcome good. back, man. Thanks for the advice, Kim. What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over. I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming, and we know about their indoctrination. Hmm. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in Oh, did you, might? Nice, man. This what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Hey, you have a few minutes to talk one on one. I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismiss, Chief. Hmm. Sir. Okay, let's see. Okay, so she's already got that. And hook her up with that. Hell yeah. So you got any better armor for Ashley? Ooh, here we go. Mm, I like the Ursa better, looks wise. Buffer. Yeah, I'm gonna give her two kinetic buffers actually. That'll work really well for her. Garrus's locker. I'm gonna give him that other super power sniper rifle I have. He's good. I don't, I'm not gonna give him the. Uh, I'm not gonna give him that. I'm gonna give it to Rex. I think. Cause I take Rex with me everywhere. Rex's locker. Yeah, he's definitely getting the uh, the Spectre one. He's already got the Spectre shotgun. I'm gonna give that to Tally. I'm gonna give her the pistol too. So pistol for Tally. Boom. The super awesome Spectre one. Uh, she gets another mod, so we should probably go with a. Uh, one of those kinetic coil thingies. Alright, cool. 9% accuracy, oh, we can get better than that. That's 18% there. Boom. Combat optics. Yeah, that's good. So accuracy. Yeah, but yeah okay, that'll work really well. Oh. Uh, can I not upgrade Tally's armor? I guess not. Okay, and then the Aura. Let's see. I don't really use you a lot, so. Oh, Cyrus! Um. Yeah, that was a little better, actually. Ooh, 240. That's only five points. We can give her that and that. There we go. Alright, she can wear human armors. So there we go. I do use her sometimes, so make sure she's good. Buffer. Yeah, she can have two kinetic buffers. 
to help with their bionic abilities. We're going to talk to Rex, talk to Commander Mentola. Osiris is always getting cheeky. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Ooh, wow. Nice, uh, biotic amp. Captain Kirahe. Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. Oh yeah, I think we will, Captain Kirahe. I think we will. Well, let's talk to Tally. Hey Shepard, do you need something? Guess not. I should go. See you later. So, I know I've slightly started the romance with Liara, but I do know that in Mass Effect One, you can pretty much get up to a certain point of the romance with, yeah, you know, if if you're male with with everybody, you can romance up to a certain point. So, I haven't really gotten get that here. far with Ashley. I guess Liara is a lot easier to romance, I guess? I don't know. I just hope I, I haven't screwed myself over by talking too much to Liara. Because uh, I definitely want to pick Ashley in this playthrough because I never have before. Looking for supplies? You bet. <laughs> Alright, so he's got some good stuff here. But we need to sell some things. Actually, let me make sure I get everybody out. I hate DLC in games because you pay for... What, Gordon? You're uh, typing a little, a little awry. Dude, that's awesome. Savant 9. That's great. I can get the other one to Liara. Hmm, excuse me. Polaris 8 seems to be the way to go. I'll sell the rest of them. That's a little better. Okay. Tally, you're gonna get. Oh, you have a good tool. Rex, you get the best one. Garrus, I gotta. Oh, you have a good one. What's Garrus's armor like? Ooh, that could be an upgrade. Let's do that. Ooh, he's wearing green. Garrus looks good in green. I like it. That one has a lot of shields. Actually, let's go with that. Oh, it's still green. Sweet! Alright. That's really good armor for him. Really high shields. Okay. So he's already... Oh, wow. That's a really good rifle. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it's a Geth Pulse rifle. I'm gonna give that to myself, actually. <laughs> oh, wow, I have more than one. Nice. There it is. He actually gets that one, which is, I guess, better. Right, let's look him up with some stuff here. Some mods. More damage. Um... Accuracy. High explosive rounds. Yes! I'm going to put those on my sniper rifle. Um, I kind of want to give them inferno rounds. Those are amazing. Um, sledgehammer rounds. 40% weapons for... Yeah, let's do sledgehammer rounds. Alright, that'll work. And he's got a good sniper rifle, so... Why is he running synthetics? Dude. I'd probably give him those... Oh, wow, I can put sledgehammer rounds in that, too. 
I'm actually going to put those in my pistol. I'll give him... Hmm. Hey, he's going to get polonium rounds, just because they're great. There we go. Alright. Ashley's locker. She's got the best armor I can give her. I can give her a decent sniper. Just because. Okay. Uh, she really needs another pistol, but you know what? She's going to get one anyway. Armageddon. What a hell of a name for a shotgun. Alright. Anyway, let's make sure that's not better than what I have for Rex. Oh yeah, it's not. That's really cool though. Alright. Uh, I have to check Rex's armor. There we go. So Rex, armor. Ooh. 432. The Predator H. Damn, dude. That's awesome. And the Titan 5. So he gets another... Oh yeah, he's only getting another connect buffer. And that's easy for that. There we go. I'm glad I looked at that. Commander, do you have a I should get back to my Okay, fine. Fine, 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 Ashley. Alright, got everybody hooked up with better stuff. Now we can sell things. Let's see what you bet. Alright, sell. Keep that. Keeping the pulse rifles. Get rid of that and that. Alright, keeping the high explosive rounds, keeping the inferno rounds. Ooh, that's pretty good. Hmm. I actually might get that to Rex. Mark Mir is the voice for Shepard, and he has no similarities to Uh, no, but I have met him uh, last year at Dragon Con, and he was actually wearing N7 armor. It was amazing, actually. Ooh, scram rail, that's nice. Shield interface, let's have rounds keeping, snowblind, getting rid of. The Battlemaster 8, apparently wasn't all that good. Geth Armory. Avenger, and there we go. Let's look at some of this uh, medium armor real quick. Because I didn't check for armor upgrades for myself. I can wear medium, so... Oh, I guess I didn't... Okay. Medium armor, compare. So that's not as good. Alright. Oh. Cool. There we go, got a lot more inventory space now, so that helps. And everybody's got all their upgraded gear. Alright. 
Ready for it. And how's your game there, sweetie? What's it called again? Something capitalist? Or something capitalism? Mm, yeah. Alright, I think it's cool. Very neat looking. Alright, door control. Uh, no, I didn't actually. I saw him at a panel and he was never at his table when I went by. But I get a picture with um, the voice actress for Ashley, actually, and the, the same voice actress for, um, where I, oh, I got one for the voice actress of Jack as well. Is there anything I can survey here? I don't think there was. Yeah, she's playing Adventure Capitalist, correct. Let's go to Hercules first. Hopefully find our last thing for the collections here, too. Guys, we may actually be able to finish Mass Effect 1 tonight. Message coming in. Nice. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attic and Beta Cluster. No yeah, yes, yes, I'm sure she has links. Survey says, positive gold. Elatania, that's the one I can land at. That one looks nice. Zatheron, no survey. Sighted, survey says, Le oh, a medallion. All right, League of One medallion. Guess we're going to be landing here, Elatania. So, of course, like I've been doing, I'm going to pull this up on the wiki. Because I want to make sure I get everything. So... Elatania. <laughs> oh, logic. Uh, let's go with Ashley and Rex. Okay, all the damage. Like a lot of damage. Give myself a pulse rifle. Geth pulse rifle. Super shotgun. Probing planets in Mass Effect 2, yeah, that was always so fun. Alright, so where we're gonna go, we need to go all the way around, I think, is what we should do. So we're gonna start here. I'm just gonna go all the way around like this and get all the stuff. So let's go. We'll definitely be doing lots of probing in Mass Effect 2. 
Because remember, guys, we have a challenge to do in Mass Effect 2, so when we start that, it'll be pretty exciting. Um, my challenge is, because I'll be doing a Paragon Shepherd again, to do everyone's mission, like all of the uh, Radiant quests for all the companions, even the DLC ones, get everyone's companion mission done, and have everyone survive the suicide mission. That's going to be tough, but we can do it, and I'm going to because I've done it before. So we're going to get all of the companion missions done and have everyone survive the final mission in uh, Mass Effect 2. It's going to be phenomenal. See if you saw a concert in the Citadel, you pull it out and place it in the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of light, uh, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly, your senses return to you as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you do not you are not far from the caves you share with others of your tribe. There is a pain and a small lump in the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. Unlike the birds you hunt by the lake's edge, it has no head, no wings, yet somehow it flies. It's a beast of shining silver hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it with anger, and the creature rises up quickly and disappears from your view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and find the rest of the tribe. You fall into familiar patterns in life. The hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise to sleep, there is, uh, rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone. There is some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. At these times, your hand goes to the strange lump in the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder. Winter falls. You must range further for food. Clutching the first tide against you to ward off the chill. It is one of these long hunts as the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. You hear it before you see it. It calls a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens on the underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you. All goes black again. You wake on an instant later to find yourself on a Latania lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you, undamaged, and your companions standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light and you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering the implications of what you might have seen. The memories of a Cro-Magnon hunter, captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results from their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you reply, realizing that this final mastery you probably never solve. Forget about it. Ooh. Crazy cool. It's uh, 7.35 p.m. where I'm at. Hey, Mike's Change, what's up? Welcome back, buddy. How are you? So this we gotta pause it up here. Go, Mako, go. See, I really wish that we could upgrade the Mako. I think that's be my only gripe about it, is that it would be nice to have like more powerful jump jets or have them to where you know you got more juice out of them at least. Maybe we could upgrade the damage it did, its armor or shield. That would be really cool being able to upgrade the Mako. But other than that, I absolutely love the Mako. 
I think it's fantastic. Everything well today, Mike's? I hope that when they bring the Mako back in Mass Effect Andromeda, which I am super hyped for, that uh, we get to see the Mako or again and also upgrade it. Yes, Mike, I have read also that the Mako's going to be back in Andromeda. I'm pretty excited about that, actually. I like the Mako a lot more than I do the Hammerhead. I mean, Hammerhead's cool and all, but it always seemed a bit overpowered. Like, it could destroy it everything fairly easily with those rockets. And the fact that it hovered and could fly seemed a bit OP, you know? I'm on my way. Palladium. Make it for the win, indeed. Okay, so there's that thing. Next, well, I guess it would be that. It's closest. Okay, let's see what's going on here on this planet. Go, Mako! Hype mode activated. Oh yeah, absolutely, guys. So much hype. I should also make your gift when I get permission to post a link. Ah, uh, yeah. Get a mod to hook up Mike's change. That'd be great. Okay. The hype is so real. Look guys, it's the space monkeys! It's the space monkeys! Hello space monkey. Look at them. They're space monkeys. Do 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 do. Space monkeys. Ten ten would make go again. Nice. There's supposed to be something else close by over here. Oh, it's a little further up actually, right? Let's do that. Ooh, don't want to kill any space monkeys. Could have swore I saw a like a base over here or something. Oh, there it is. There's gotta be something over here though. The map indicates something. Well, not so much the map, but this map does on my phone. What's that? What is that supposed to be? Oh, that's it. Just a space monkey probe. That's all. That is all. Okay. So next is going to be right here. Let's go. Space monkeys. Oosh. More space monkeys! Look at them all! So many space monkeys. 
say if uh, Sovereign succeeded in destroying everybody, those would survive and they'd become the next dominant race in the galaxy. Space monkeys. Good time to save the game. <laughs> uh, a space monkey. Monkey doesn't have the module. Damn it. I have lots of Omni John, not a big deal. There we go, they go that way. They need their own TV show. <laughs> Space Monkey Channel. Talk about Space Monkeys. Search Monkey. Why am I searching the monkeys? Why am I looking for a module? Hello, monkey. Do you have the module, monkey? Don't have the module. None of these monkeys have the module. Monkey? What about this monkey? He dropped the data module. It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. Yeah. A monkey had the module. Thanks, monkey. Hostile contact. Oh, really? It's so hostile. It's not monkeys, is it? No, it's probably Geth. It's definitely Geth. Don't hurt the monkeys. You mean Geth. Nice explosion there, Rex. Ooh. Oh. Smashing everything with a sniper rifle. And Ashley and Rex are just tanking and destroying things for me while I'm putting pop shots and everything with this super powered sniper rifle. Damn you, Geth. Yeah, exactly. Don't fuck with the space monkeys. Exactly, Gordon. Same. They fought with the space monkeys, and I got them. That's what they get, the fucking space monkeys. Alright, so we got other things to get. Did they kill the monkeys? No, the monkeys are still alive. Yay. Hey, little cat. Hey, Wafu. I don't know. What do you think? No, we didn't. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with something small, simple, whatever. Like, we can do soups, we can do rice, and do something, or we can do a which I think would be the fastest of everything. 
like a P.F. Chang's frozen thing or whatever. Really? Or like rice and... Yeah, I was thinking, you know, Otsukunori or something. You could do that too. <gasps> Hi, little cat. Oh, little kitty. Hi, Isis. Hi. Kitty. Little cat. Do do do. <laughs> Wifey and the cat. You see them? There they are. Wifey and the cat. Yay. Do 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 do. Ice is hyperino. Yep. <laughs> the nose boop is real. <laughs> Sweet girl. What do you think is best and easiest, my darling? Well. Okay. Squad. Let's see here. More sniper rifle damage, because I like my snipers. We'll give Ashley more first aid, actually. Master first aid. And wow, so you got all the damage and stuff that I want her to have actually set up. Mm, I wanna, I'll, I'll give her a sniper rifle just because. Rex, you're going to get more. Uh, you got plenty in fitness. Let's give you more in throw. No, I'll give you more in warp, actually. Yeah, we'll do warp. Okay, so next area will be this. I don't want to run over the space monkeys. Oh no! Nice shot. Personally, no. I would have just thrown a rocket. Aww, I just got four points of renegade for running over a space monkey. Whoops. Collateral damage, I guess. Space monkey down! I know, guys. I actually f feel bad for... After protecting all those space monkeys from the Geth, I end up running one over with the Mako. Whoops. I won't run over anymore. I love how Rex is like, nice shot. <laughs> I hit it with, like, barely hit it with my back tire, too. I could waste all of those space monkeys. But I'm so high in Paragon. There's supposed to be more stuff here with the space monkeys? Like, what's over here? What's the point of this marker on the map? This is it just to show me that space monkeys are here? I guess so. Okay. Oh, just, yeah, it's just a monkey colony. That's all, that's, all, that's all it wanted to show me. Was the fact that there was a monkey colony right there. Okay. Go, space monkeys. They haven't quite evolved into something like Homo sapien. So they're still just monkeys. At one point in time, the human race were space monkeys. Whoa. That's probably what the Protheans called us. Space monkeys. Gold. I love gold.
It is a probe. With dead monkeys. I put dead monkeys in a probe. Can I get, get, can I get anything from this probe, really? Seems useless, actually. Hmm. I guess this is supposed to show me that the probe crashed and killed some monkeys. Alrighty then. Hmm, one other thing on the map. I guess it's another monkey colony. And then I guess we can leave the planet. Okay. Such payday, much DLC. Yep, I'm a big fan of that payday DLC. Yeah, that new update came out today, didn't it? With the Yakuza stuff? That should have came out today, I believe. Monkey Colony! I don't want to run over any monkeys. Let's go to the Normandy. <laughs> right, Strix. Let's go to the thesis system where Pharos is. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, glad you were in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. Let's do it. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. Whoa. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. Hmm. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. Let's do it. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Alright, let's see here. Let's check this whole system. Logan. Wolverine. Quana. Survey says Cobalt. Sweet. Sharing or sharing. Survey says Prothene data disk. Nice. Satow. Nothing. I guess that thing's also on Pharos? Admiral Hackett was talking about was also in Pharaohs, huh? There doesn't seem to be anything else around here. No floating anything. So I guess we're going to Pharaohs. Hmm. Nothing else here. I wish I'd knock out that side quest, huh? Let's 
let's do that before we go and do Pharos. Because I think Ferris is going to start us on like an unstoppable path to the end of the game, possibly. I don't remember 100%. Okay, let's check the asteroid belt. Nothing, okay. Nothing to survey. Polonium, nice. Zamari. Mars of Mercury. All right. Guess we're going there. <laughs> Rex and Ashley. Except. Exploration, though. Hey, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the graveyard. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, yeah, I've beaten that one. <laughs> oh yeah, 15 of 13. So I guess we've like unintentionally almost 100% of the game. This one right here. What's that, Gordon? When you play for all then it games. Fantastic. <laughs> point. 
Um, Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. There we are. Your mobile is crap, but you take a few days if you go for all. It's about completing everything, Gordon Freeman, is that what you mean? Yeah, I think we actually have around 30 hours played so far. I think we might have a Thresher Maul to fight. Bye, Mike's change. Take it easy, buddy. Oh, wow. Nice. Well played. Two OP. I mean, I got its health down really far, though, peeps. Really far. Hex. <laughs> Alright. Now, I'm gonna get up here real quick. I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna help my wife... Um, dinner real quick so you'll give me just a moment
I'm back! Hi, everybody. Follow says, this game, the best game there is, leaves. Thanks, Icarus. Thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to the graveyard. And so, same thing with you, Junior Sconefield. Thank you very much. Human Chambers, welcome back. Smoke Coalition, what's up, my friend? How are you doing today, sir? Hope everything is well. Hi, Smoke. Wifey says hi. So, I have my food. Ramen with a bunch of spicy stuff. So, I'm going to lose the cam and continue playing while I'm stuffing my face. We hope you're having a great night tonight, Smoke. Thank you for the new follows. Icarus. Audio Blood TV, what's up? Uh, Chattosaurus Rex, hello, hello, welcome back. Yum, yum, yummy food, yep, and the wonderful wifey lady. All right, so like I said, guys, I'm going to lose the cam, and we're right back to the game. Bum, 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 Okay. Get to it. La. I know it's a black screen, it'll pop up in a second. The game uh, takes a little bit to reload after I tab out because of these texture mods I'm running. There it is, yay! Ooh, nice. Uh, Ashley, see if that's actually an upgrade for you. It is not. Nice. Okay. Oh, Smoke, it's going great, actually. I absolutely love this game. It's great. I'm actually nearing the end. Uh, I think it's highly possible that I could beat the game tonight. I'm on my Paragon mission. Just realized that my uh, stuff was so loud because I, I have music going still. Sorry. Uh, but no, it's going really, really well. Sunday at 2 p.m. as a reminder. Thank you, Smoke. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, can I get a mod to do the uh, command to show Smoke what mods we're using? But no, it's, uh, it's going wonderful. I'm on my Paragon mission, and then I'm going to go to Pharos, which is, of course, you know, among the, one of the last uh, standalone story missions. So uh, I'm pretty excited. It's highly possible we could beat this game tonight. If not, it'll definitely be beat tomorrow. You must not go to bed until you beat it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I feel like I can't go to bed until I beat it. That's just not too far of a stretch, to tell you the truth, honey. Alright. Alright, so... Oh, I got the 10th spot for the draft? Okay. Cool, man. Thanks for letting me know. Sunday at 2 p.m. Copy that, sir. Oh, wait, is it 2 p.m. Eastern? Or Central? I gots to know. 2 p.m. Eastern, it says on there. Hostile spotted. You must die. As he's walking around. Well, at least I killed all the biotic terrorists. I brought 
freaking Rex and Ashley, though, because they're both pretty resistant against biotics. Rex is a biotic, and Ashley just does a shit ton of damage, so... Ashley's a marine through and through. Yes, absolutely. She does tear some shit up, that's for sure. All right, no civilian casualties. Wrecked all the biotic terrorists. Hear about the female army rangers? Yeah, man, that's good. Hopefully that just means that uh, females will now be held to the same PT standard as men, because that's not the case right now. It's kind of... Uh, it's actually very annoying that uh, women don't have to stand up to the same physical standards that we do, and yet, you know, all this crap about demanding equal opportunity and feminism and all that, but it's okay that they have to do, like, 35 less push-ups than I do and run their mile and a half five minutes slower than me to still get the same grade kind of deal. So, that's lame. So, now that two women have become army rangers, that just means that women can do the same PT as men, therefore should not be held to a different standard. The first two, not the first batch links, the first two. Not all of them succeeded. Exactly, so I agree. That's why it's lame that women aren't held to the same standard as men. I mean, you can just go, go ahead and just take my branch, right? Just take the Air Force and look up the difference between the male and female PT tests for under 25 individuals. It's uh, there's a gross difference between the two. I have nothing against women in the battlefield or doing any job. I think it's great. They should definitely be allowed the same opportunities. Without a doubt. But also be adhered to the same standards. Not a fucking special little area just because you're special. That's, that's not the case. Crazy bunch of the matriarch's writings. Huh. All right. What's will string quartet the power down system? Who must live through? They haven't been back in some time. Crates are covered in Chloe's chunky dust, and the uh, status lights of the ship indicate this over an long ago. Okay. Sweet. That's it. Return to the Normandy.
<laughs> Whoa, I made that Message spicy. Coming in. Patching it through. I didn't think it could be done, Commander. You managed to secure the base and neutralize the biotics without a single civilian casualty. Just doing my job, Admiral. I couldn't let innocent lives be lost. I wish every soldier had your definition of just doing your job. You're a credit to the uniform, Shepard. We're in your debt. Fifth lead out. Alright. There we go. Time to go to Pharos. Let me see if I can talk to Ashley real quick. Because we haven't really gotten far with the whole pursuance of the romance and all that. So. Let me see if any of that's possible. Before we leave. I'm not running. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismissed, Chief. Damn. Okay, guess not. Nothing fancy there. Pharaohs. Hmm. Who should my team be? Let's go Rex and Ashley. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please. Up the stairs, past the freighter. Look out! Oh, shit!
Also level 45. There we go. Crazy old Prothean skyscrapers. I feel like I'm on like a ruined idea of Coruscant. <laughs> oh, Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower. Protect the heart of the colony! Hostile spotted. those things. Alright. Protect the heart of the colony. Alright, I guess um there's more up here. Huh. All right, smoke. So, are we ready to roll out to wherever the Gether bunkered? Check in with Fidan, but I think we're done here. Okay.
Should have destroyed those things. This guy didn't stand a chance against me. What up, dude? The tower's secure. Thanks to you. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an arm to get between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. <clears throat> what do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Marcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? Mayo Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. Hmm. It's not a critical threat right now. Getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zoo's hope and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your calling. Life is hard and often brutal. Even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site. Two hundred more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available in my worlds. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. And my face is back. Hi, buddy. <clears throat> bum bum bum. Very spicy ramen. Num num num. My lips are burning. <laughs> I put cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes on it. It was wonderful. I didn't think about getting the sriracha. Well, dap face. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's talk to the peoples of this colony. You will have 
to forgive my wife. Lent is not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. What do you do for the colony? No. I'm a medic. Yeah. Or I am since Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by <laughs> nice smoke. affairs. <laughs> different from what they claimed. It's not all bad though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. <clears throat> She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. Best ask Fi Dan if you really Oh, the kitties are awesome. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fi Dan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. Codex. Okay. Ooh, nothing there. The one who repelled that last wave. Yes, I am. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to? But both the keys are great, Smoke. I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Bear, he's huge and he's mad, rabid, totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about Zoo's hope. The colony is growing, or it was. But you should speak with Fi. Why should I speak to Fi? Don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fi Dan. Tell me about what's to tell. I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life. But this isn't exactly what I signed up for. Yeah, of course, it would so. be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they. Came. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting was impossible to defend against the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything. He was dancing there. The big alpha Varen is the real power. He's mad. Erratic, completely unpredictable. I'll do it. I have to go. So long. Lidra, what's up? Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be. Meta gel upgrade. Ooh, another armory license. Nice. So I can buy all the stuff now on my uh, own ship. Work with those geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator wing guy. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. I'm okay. sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. We are a small group. You should speak to Fi Dan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. What do you know about this? I'm not the one to ask about that. Ask by Dan. Tell me about yourself. I'd okay. rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us. I have to go. I wish you luck. Thanks for your... We could take the fight to these Geth. Okay, so... We should have the Power Cells quest, the Varen Meat quest, and Geth in the Tunnels. Okay. Where's this go? That's the elevator. Stairs down to the tunnels. And that goes back to the Normandy. Alright, let's go do these things. Let's go help out the Pharaoh's colony. We must save them! Because we are Commander Shepard. We're freaking awesome. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship. Making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding it when those geth come over the walls. Looks like you're monitoring something. 
No, well, just ship diagnostics is nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. I, I need to get back to the world. This work must be completed. Hmm, that's fishy. That's pretty damn fishy. Just saying. Let's go talk to Phi Dan, I guess, real quick, or maybe Alicia. And then go down to the tunnels. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Well, I'm not trying to impress you, Tell bitch. Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. Arcelia. I, cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. What can you tell me about the gap? Do you have any idea? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They Muffin button! Fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the gap. What can you Very tell me? Very little. I work there as a security officer. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In it's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. Tell me about Zeus Hope. I can't tell you much about it. You should speak to Pi Dan if you want to know more. Goodbye. Commander. Commander? Hmm. I'm you Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones. Friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Yeah, I still say it's pretty damn fishy. But we'll see. Alright, let's go to the tunnels and clear out all the Zigeth. Shall we? Bum 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 bum. Okay, go to the tunnels. Which way does this go? Maybe there's like water mains and stuff up here? Or power cells? Hey, Muffin Button! Hello, friend! How are you? Can I get a mod to pimp out Muffin Button? I don't think she has her own command, but we should definitely pimp her out because it's Muffin Button. You doing well, Muff Butt? Kaboom. Goodies. Herbi likes goodies. Dun 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 dun. Bum 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 bum. Hope everything's going well for you, Muffin Button. It's always great to have you in the channel. You're a pretty cool lady in my book. Down to the tunnels. Should probably save the game. That'd be a good idea. Thank you, Fantasy. I appreciate that, buddy. Please, guys, do me a favor and follow Muffin Button, because she's awesome. Take all. Okay. Squad. Uh, more sniper rifles. Ashley, gonna get more sniper rifles. Rex, you're gonna get more warp. Okay. <clears throat> I am doing really well, Muffin. It's a good day. Oh, God. They're oh look at that! I paused at the perfect time. She's got shot in the back of the fucking dome. Screw you, asshole thing. That girl just got cat. My god. <laughs> that was the perfect time to pause the game. <laughs> I hear whispering. It's scary. I'm scared.
Yeah. Wrecked. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. That timing. Ooh. Yellow. Yellow evil doggies. Slugs. Got him. There's a power cell for that side quest. So we killed the Varen, we got the Varen meat, we got the power cell, we've turned on one of the water things. We're just smashing through Pharos right now, which is great, guys. That means we're on the right path to just straight up finishing the game tonight. Like, hell yeah. Hey, Lamyra, welcome back. See, I told you this would be going. How are you? Hope you enjoyed your little break. Doing very good, Lamira. We're uh, on the right path to, to completing the game, like tonight. So, doing well enough. You don't want to go down there. Oh, I just did a 24-hour stream like this past Saturday, Lamira. Hell yeah. What are you doing? Streaming down here? hours is meh Nothing for me. Is looking for the gift. Ah, oh, that was you that followed me. I was thinking that, Lamara. Looking to get rid of. There are thorn in the side of the. Ah! I'm trying to get to the. Dying! What the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Let's leave him. There's nothing we can do for him. What is up? Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one. Can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask fight. Later, human chambers. Could someone type to human chambers that I really appreciate? I understand that she can't hear us, so. Type to her, thank you very much for, for coming here. Welcome to the channel, and I hope to see her again soon. I'd appreciate that, if you guys could hook me up with that. Thanks, Lamara. I appreciate that.
Okay. Ooh, dark. All right, so now we gotta find our way the other direction. Yemen Kelly Chambers. I just love it how like her Twitch name or their I don't know if it's a male or female, but their Twitch name is based off of a character from Mass Effect 2. That's just really awesome to me. Doesn't look like it's on yet. We should keep looking. Boom boom boom. There's the water. That side quest is done. I think we're in business. The water system is back online, Commander. So we've got the food. We've killed the Alpha Varen. We've got the power cell. And we just fixed their water problem. And we cleared the geth out of the tunnels. So I believe that actually... We're still going to do that, pretty much. Not quite done yet. Not quite done. In seven. <laughs> Streaks. Oh yeah, man. Honestly, I saw a thing, uh, somebody had there's like a, you should google it, like N7 Chevy Silverado. Somebody did their Chevrolet truck, like black with the red stripe and put N7 on the tailgate. It looked so cool. Like, I kind of want to do that to my truck. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to, but it still is like really neat. Haha, <clears throat> you can't shoot me. Push. Yeah. Way to get him, Rex. Ooh, Krogan. Woo! Wow. Look at Red Tide, they're tanking though. Negative contacts, Commander. Should have had a shotgun out, he'd have ragged all those dudes. Alright. There we go. Look at the grenades spinning around. Geth transmitter's done for. Alright. Let's do it. Alright, so we knocked out all the Pharaoh side quests like immediately. Hell yeah. So now we just got to do the main dealio. Ooh. Melted. <laughs> I love using the polonium rounds and everything like that. Any of the all the chemical damage, that stuff is so OP in the first Mass Effect. Chemical damage for the win. I like fire damage in Mass Effect Two and Three. I go with Inferno rounds are pretty great, or at least swapping. Like my submachine gun in Mass Effect Two I usually go with cryo rounds, and then my 
assault rifle, I'll usually go with like Inferno rounds or the chemical rounds. And then Inferno or chemical on my uh, pistol, dude, and just cycle through them. But submachine gun, yeah, I'm, I totally go with the uh, cold rounds because, yeah, just the fire rate. And then to be able to slow them down, it can get you out of a pickle pretty, pretty good. Okay. There you go, Davin. Hello again. I killed the big Vera. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. We're in trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Boom. Oh, 33,000 credits? That's all you can spare, huh? Jesus, dude. Nice work with those Geth. I still need the If I find anything, we'll have Unless you've got something important, shoot. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, if I didn't get... Another 33,000. Well, the water started running not long ago. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing. Here, mm. An another 99,000 credits. Good God. These people were rich. and Oh, we only have a little bit. I just got like over 300,000 credits. Because. Way to go, people. Way to go. Alright. Oh, we knocked a lot of that crap out real quick. Like, in less than 20 minutes, we just did all of those side quests. It helps that I guess Pharos is the lower level, and I'm level 45 or 46, and just completely smash my way through them all with great weapons. Hello, Offworlder. Dear, please. Try. But they should know. Uh, I mean, they are very important. Yes, that's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I am fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from from the last attack. I'll be fine. She looks whole, but something's clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. Mm-hmm. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander, for in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus Hope and Of Pharaoh. course, Commander. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. Some of the colonists are acting... We've been over hey, Dirty Monkey, what's up, buddy? Colonists are my concern. The Geth... There's a guy living down... That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. Dirty Monkey. Can I also get a mod to pimp out Dirty Monkey? Listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Yeah, you working on that thing you showed me? That's really awesome, man. Okay, I guess we've done everything we can in Zoo's Hope for now. It's time to, uh, go to the elevator. Let's see. Yep. Let's do it. Time to go mess at some geth. rifle, which is what I'm running actually, so it's pretty high damage, I have to say, but Ashley's is better. She has the Spectre one. Ooh, I need to give uh, Rex another upgrade to that thing. That'll work. Up 
we go. Let's go destroy some Geth, shall we? Expected to take them out like that? Do I not talk to these guys? I guess not. I'm just kind of watching the Mako for me. Alright. Well, let's do this, I guess. I guess I can't go in reverse. Yeah, no. Alright. Ooh, hello. Get the ship. Couple armatures, huh? More XP. Oh, we don't have uh, a command for Dirty, but you're welcome to make one, Lynx. Hey, I, I watch Dirty Monkey when I can. I think he's a great streamer. You guys should definitely follow him. I haven't been able to see a stream in a while, but good dude. You don't have to, Link. You can just throw stuff up right now. She's my daughter. I'll wait as long as I have to. Level up. Yeah, super far sniping. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, maximum on charm. There we go. Ashley, you get assassination for your sniper rifle. And you're gonna be Master Warp here soon. So. Thank you, Lynx. It's all good, Dirty. That's how you can get some love regardless. Graveyard will take care of you, buddy. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can go in those tunnels here. side of the road too. Oh no, it's 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 okay, Lakes. I understand that you're doing that role play thing. It's all good, bro. Seriously. Put it in Slack to remind you or something. You know?
This one is a second one of those things. Let me backtrack a little bit. Aha! Uh, could be it right there? Nope. Okay. As we were. There's people here. Why are we going to forget them? We can't do that. It's the rest of the colony. That's close enough. Relax, John. They're obviously not Geth. Get back to me. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard. I'm here to remove your Geth crop. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're not dead, but the Geth have really pounded them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What all kind right. of information? I'm gonna punch that dude in the face. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. Uh -oh. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the guests are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't <laughs> something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. Person. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. I should get death. You're absolutely right, Lamira. I'll work on that. Well, you and your husband have an awesome night. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for being a follower and being the first person in the stream today. It was wonderful to have you. Wonderful meeting you. What brought you here? Hope to see you soon. I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where is your daughter, Juliana? Yeah, it's death looks like a lot of fun. Headquarters, I hope. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was most... When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, if we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted... They're to fairly them. secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, huh. our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. Come eventually. What was the building used for? That guy's such a putz. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly all. Exogeny is a master at repurposing. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Yeah, 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 I know. If I see your daughter, I gotta find her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, what's up? have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy, huh? What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. 
Deadly for him? Fine for us. What could be better? <laughs> nice, Ashley. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters. Drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. Okay. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of a frontier spirit in me. That, the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Ooh, okay. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I say. Okay, well, um, might as well. We can probably get some prototype mods out of it. Get some upgrades! I mean, upgrades are always good, right? Save time. Save 190! Had a lot of saves. Wow, and I'm crouched. I have perfect weapon stability. Damn. That's awesome. Well, I guess I can go out into this one. Alright. You owe us for this. The Skyway is crawling with Geth. Package is secure. We're leaving now. I saw that radio chatter. About to run into more people out here? I don't remember that. <laughs> Will he die? I don't know. Will he get his self punch in the face? I think so. Wait. Shut down the comm. We've got incoming guests. Damn it. Shut down the comm. Yeah, I think there actually is an option for me to punch that guy, if I remember correctly. Maybe not, but I hope there is, so I can punch that guy. Loots! Gotta get those loots. 
All of those loots. There's so much loots. Loose, loose, loots. Loose, loose, loots. Okay. Let's get out of here. I am pressed to the Exogeny Tower. Save. Yep. Cool. I knew there was more of those things. Ooh, hello. Extra experience. We get out and sniping them. Totally worth it. Okay. Oh no, we're jammed. Oh, because there's a ship on the side of the damn tower. That actually makes sense. Look here, punks. I guess don't need much of an invitation to move in, do they? What are they up to? There's no point to this unless they're looking for something. Saved often. Save much, save often. Let's do this, guys. Bum bum bum. I love how I like, have a Geth rifle on my back too. Doesn't look as cool as the other ones, but it's pretty powerful. Geth pulse rifle. Oh, actually, I actually have something that's better—the Breaker Eight, huh? More damage and more shot for overheat. Hmm. That's actually pretty cool. Why not? I forgot, and they put my high explosive rounds on there. I'm really gonna mess people up now. So I can't go into that door. <clears throat> what is this? Wow. Has to be another way in. 
They have one shot. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Damn. But that high explosive stuff will wreck it, though. Guess I can just go back and get that damage thing back on it. That'll work. But killed that big bastard, so that was cool. I need to swap to that more weapons force damage on that uh, pistol. Right, so how do I get to where I need to be? Hmm. Can I pass through that? I don't think I can. Can I? Hmm. What's up, Jenkins? Oh, congrats, buddy. Hmm. All right, so how do I get in there? I guess, oh, this way, there we go. Guess that's it. Ooh. Damn it. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth or one of those Baron. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up Davis. No, nah, Jenkins is sick, guys. He got like a throat infection deal, so he's happy. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but... What's a thorium? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this thorium? I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. You know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You can follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a mm. research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant made. I know it's very old. Mm. Thousands of years ago. 
Wow. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thoria? It's just a plant. I don't know. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. So much damage. That's it. Wow. Back in the tag. All right. Here we go. with that rocket, I'd have been dead. <laughs> Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharge <clears throat> of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Mm, Welcome sure. back, research assistant Elizabeth Bain. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the crew. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zeus hmm. Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. Oh, wow. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group Ooh. has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. No Are you way. saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. Wow. So that's why they were acting weird. We should warn Joker. Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. P.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have hmm. limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Okay. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation More more stuff. the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during the Who's in charge here? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management, deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas. Individual employee records are confidential. 
Tell me about the Thorns. Species 37 was discovered mm. several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining <clears throat> ruins near the zoo's old outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it received data from kilometers of meandering tent. We have discovered bundles approximately wow. one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. The Thorian does not exhibit the focused mm. behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tool. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense awesome. pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman of a... As long as no action is taken against mm. the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Wow. Who's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Ferris. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Hmm. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. All right, the Thorian. I think we're good too, Ashley. Damn, we just wrecked all those dudes. Nice, we got 
we have to use design data. Sweet. There we go. And so there's another side quest completed. Boom. Fubars! Close up. How you doing, Chloe? So we took care of that little problem. Can't go down, so we'll go up. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Doot, 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 doot. Let's see. Got it. Boom. Alright. Good save point, I think. Definitely a good save point. Oh boy. <laughs> Got all those geth. Destroyed. Test times we got three days ago. Oh wow. This guy's doing some real shady shit. Damn you, Exogeny Corp. You don't have the teeth to tear this out. Keep looking. <laughs> Ash is just like rolling down the stairs with that assault rifle. They're both just wrecking things. Wow. What is this, Commander? A containment lab? It's no armory to tear up even one claw, and that ship is gone. They're just a Cerberus group. Oh, so Cerberus was here too. Back here. Can I get anything off these Geth consoles? Yeah, actually, Rex definitely know how to suppress. Yep. That's why I'm using them for this. I knew there'd be a lot of stuff here. I Man, I could have used Tally and Rex. Actually, it would have been probably an even better combo, but yeah, the suppressive fire is amazing. Repair ticket. Da -da -da. Ah. Right, so there's a way to fix this. There it is. Goodbye, Geth ship. We made it fall. <laughs> Kaboom. Tee hee hee. That's the way. Doors will be open now. We can go deal with that Thorian thing. Yeah, we can. Damn. I'd like to have seen the face of their pilot when that thing toppled. This was my kind of mission. Kill <laughs> a bunch of guests, 
Hey, thanks, Dante. Appreciate it, buddy. Break your concentration. Norman need a shore party. I didn't read it. Anyone there? Norman need a shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, hey, can I get a uh, mod to pimp out some Dante Crisis? Thanks for that host, buddy. Oh, you just finished Mass Effect 3? Congrats, man. I'm very close to finishing Mass Effect 1. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Alright, another level up. I'm going to put this one probably in Snipers. Yep, I'll put it in Snipers. Uh, I'm going to put that one for Ashley. Rex, let's maximize warp. Okay. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. Yeah, I mean, I was streaming since I got home, so. Alright, so we got that done. Let's go through the blue portal door thingy. Guess I don't need to come down this way. I need to go the other way. Uh, or do I? Where the hell do I need to go? Oh, well, I was going the right way. Never mind. Yeah. Thanks, Lynx. Appreciate it, buddy. You're a good man. And so is Dante Crisis. I'm glad you had fun playing some Mass Effect, man. Alright, sounds good, bud. Alright, so it's upper level, upper level. Elizabeth. Next to me approach. Right, where was the... Oh, I guess this was where the blue door was, huh? Good. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I, I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they hey, Ridley, badass gaming. Welcome I back, buddy. How are you? When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. Oh, it's going great, Dante. Going wonderful, man. We're in the last bit now. I've completed like every side quest. I, I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help. If you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. Why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Norman in the shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Cool. Alright, let's do this. Boom, boom. There's about to be Geth everywhere. Where's the Mako? There's the Mako.
High explosive rounds. Boom. Oh, this thing is screwed. Fix this. All that extra experience. Beautiful. I think I'm actually going to swap off the uh, high explosive rounds, though, to tell you the truth. I just, uh... What? Really? The game just dropped for... God knows what reason. Give me a second. Tap him back in. Max Havoc, hey, what's up? So really badass gaming. How are you doing today, buddy? My game dropped because somebody I know was streaming and I'm in their Steam group and it popped up an announcement. Wonderful. And once the damn game taps back in, we can change to a better ammo so I can fire more than once. It does do a lot of damage, but I need to be able to fire more rounds. And I think, uh, I think I actually did better with, uh, so we want the high explosive or do it just as good with the, uh, stuff. Where are they at? Polonium rounds. There we go. Let's go, Mako! Saving. Is it make it to punch just one dickhead in the face? Oh, I have Char maxed out, Dante. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Later, dirty monkey. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the exogenic database. I know what happened on a cruise. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogenic wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has, the Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, John. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. Just might work. Wait, no, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. Mm. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. 
Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. You shouldn't be wasting time. I want to punch that dude in the face. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transport it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate Do you even praise? Praise the sun. <laughs> Thanks again, Commander. She at? There we go. I'm glad you decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What did you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerative. Mustard! Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Are already weakened. It may act as a paralyzing agent. Dodgy. But it just might work. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Welcome to the Excellent. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Commander. Anti Thorian gas grenade. Mm. Let's do it. Let's get to the Thorian. Junior Schoenfeld or Schoenfeld, welcome back. I finished the RP thing. The leader had to peace out early, so I stepped in. Nice links. Very cool, buddy. Uh, yeah, man, make sure you PM it to me, and I'll be happy to look at it. Or if it's just like a straight-up picture, send in my email address. It's uh, thantophobietwitch at gmail.com. Ooh, hello. Shit, oh shit. Rex using the sniper. I'm still using high explosive rounds, that's what it is. I thought I'd change those. Loading rounds. There we go. Save. There we are. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I definitely use the Dark and Twitch too. You notice that you have BTTV? Dante, we have emotes here in the channel you can use while uh, you have BTTV installed. So feel free to use them whenever you can. We have the the Meow Hype. We have Osiris and Isis, or my two cats. We have the Wifey Emote. We have our Gotham Emote. We have our Skull. We need to make a love and a hype. It's a husk. Dorian Creeper. Whoa. What the hell was that? <clears throat> I don't know what that plant does to people, but that's not human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. 
That's what the gas grenades are for. Whatever you say, Commander. Let's do it. Why are the colonists shooting at me? Oh yeah, I, I gotta put that grenade on, don't I? There we go. That's right. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, I have to kill the colonists. Make sure we save all the colonists. There we go. Biotic charge the Nova? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Dante. Yeah, I'm gonna keep playing Infiltrator. I'm I'm loving sniping, it's just it's so much fun. <clears throat> Shot himself in the dome. I love how it says call us alive 16 still. Okay, now what? Can I not use the controls now? Um, what's going on here? Let's be able to use this console and move that out of the way, I think. 
or something. Hmm. Don't tell me it bugged. That would really suck. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. Ooh. Alright. I think those are still moved. We're good. Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish the game tonight like I thought, but we can defeat the Thorian. So let's do that, and then finish okay, it tomorrow. Okay, we just have to find this thing and put a couple of rounds into... What the hell is that? That does not look like any plan I've ever seen. This may be problematic. You think? Put your helmets on, you don't want to breathe in any spores. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig and decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. Commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will be around. Oh. Just got warped. Saints are above me. Damn. Pew Pew goes the pistol. Oh yeah. It actually does make a pretty good pew pew noise, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, it's not a 
save point yet. level up. Level 49. There we go. Master assassination with uh, sniper rifles. 225% weapon damage. Yowza. We'll give her some sniper rifles just because. Um, hmm. I kind of want to give her more throw, but I want to go with fitness. I can an even stronger tank. Shotgun. Oh no. Unity Amp 10. That could be really good for Rex. Unity Amp 9. He's got the Savant Amp though. So he's good. We should try uh, Brawlhalla. Oh, yeah, you actually did say that. Okay. I say I actually have a free copy of that game that I got from my loot crate. I gotta redeem it, so I haven't played it yet. I got a free copy of the game, a special character, and some skins for him in, a, in my Heroes loot crate two months ago. Or last month, technically. It's pretty awesome. I got to play that game. I've heard it's lots of fun. Lots of fun. Oh, yeah. You should definitely do that, Lynx. Alright, so save. Boom, boom. Hell yeah. Alright. What you got for me there? Creature of the 
stuff. Oh, I thought I got all of its tentacles. Damn it. Look here, bro. Thought I shot all your tentacles in the face. Did I miss one or something? Son of a bitch. So we're running back up. I think this low rumbling is ridiculous. Alright, got that one. Can't blow those up. Alright. Can't go that way. I got that tentacle. Now what? Hmm. Ah, uh, I didn't see this. Kaboom. No! No, not trained in shotgun. I, I can still carry one, but not trained in shotgun. Alright. Yeah, I was just using it because it's fun to knock things down with it. Yeah, no. I just did it for fun. Uh, Lynx, could you go ahead and give me a death, please, sir? And I didn't get one from earlier, so this is my second time dying this stream. So if you could actually do it twice, that would be great, Lynx. And I owe you guys ten push-ups at the end. Hi, Softer. How are you, bud? Yeah, it's been a while since you've been in here, Salter. It's really good to see you, buddy. It truly is. Damn it. How have you been, Salter? Because it is awesome to see you, buddy. In fact, I think somebody was asking, I think Ian was asking about you, just not even this past weekend. I'm glad you're back, bud. But doing really good. Wifey and I are doing great. Oh, I 
can hear it. It's ridiculous. Creature ain't happy. Well, I'm glad that you chose to visit us, since you don't get on very often anymore. It's good to see you. Oh boy. Do I have visitors coming? No, I'm still here. What the hell? Oh. Weird. Guess I had another wave of things to fight that just kind of spawned late. So confused, like where are these things coming from? Melted the clone. Can't get out of that freaking mess. Can't I can't talk to this stupid thing now. Come on. Mm. Are there more of the sanctuary to kill? Like, I'm just not seeing what to do right now. over here and see what happens. That's gotta be that damn where that tentacle was that I last blew up and something over there. Sure enough, there it is. I'm very excited. God, there's enough of these things.
Ooh. And down it falls. Everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be in time. My name. Oh, I love it, man! I absolutely love this mic. I served Matriarch Benesia when she allied herself with Saren. So did I. I came to this world in search of authority. Saren needed. That's all good, Lynx. And he needed my biotic abilities to communicate with it. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorians when he could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon of Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly it's in San Francisco them, logic. think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. Watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian Ooh. taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic and It's it's plug in a new software. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Sarah. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did for Sarah. Okay. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Click on my PC button down below the channel, guys, and it'll send you directly to an Amazon list that has my microphone on it. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. It's an audio technique. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe. Embrace eternity. Yeah, I remember that logic. That was, that was almost a year ago. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. Are you alright, Shepard? What'd she do? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given All a great right. gift, the experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little wheezy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. All Do you right. know what the conduit is? Where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. That can't be good. Whatever it is. You have the cipher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the conduit. Is there anything else you can tell when me about? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. Its exact age is impossible to know. Mm -hmm. It measured time differently. 
10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thrall. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. What else can you tell me about Sarah? All that info. There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he's dangerous. Yeah, buddy. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness. I have it, Lynx. Uh, right now, I want to know more about the planning on Wifey and I have done is for Dragon Con, which we're going to in not even two weeks from now. Disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her, but I believed her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, he joined him in. I want to know more. There about is me. nothing remarkable about me. When, but I believe you. I thought you could turn. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to. Make the colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Boom. Oh. Can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. All right. All righty. Well, we de defeated the Thorian. All right. So we've gone about thirty minutes over stream tonight. I was kind of hoping that we could push and get the game ended, but that wasn't the case. But that's okay, guys. That's quite alright. Been a good stream today. Like, we had some great hosts at the beginning of the stream. We've maintained nearly 20 viewers the entire day. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm so glad that you're all here. All those the hosts. Uh, thanks a lot, Dante Crisis, for the host. And We also had Froster host and Ashley host earlier today. Uh, Starbuck hosted. It was fantastic. I really appreciate it. Hope you all have an awesome, awesome night. Um, it is going to be time for the wonderful wifey and I to go get some sleeps here soon. And, uh... Let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. We could probably raid somebody. I think there's enough of us here to raid. What do you guys think? Yeah? Get a good raid on? I think it'd be cool. Boom. Graveyard raid time. Let's do this. Who am I following? That we can get a good raid on. Hmm. How about... Ah! So we haven't raided in a while. Chris! We're gonna, load... We're gonna raid Chris playing Duelist. He's a coalition streamer. Really awesome guy. Great streamer, honestly. Partnered. Really cool dude. I always enjoyed watching him. Uh, so I hope you guys go to join me in Chris's channel. Now please remember, if you've never been part of a raid before in this channel, what's gonna happen is I'm going to... You know, put up the message, raid message again. I'm gonna pop into his channel and go... Arise, my raiders, and then all of you will answer with Graveyard Raid. It's going to be fantastic. Hope to all see you over in Chris's chat here soon. Thank you all for being part of the stream today. You're all fantastic individuals, like absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I'm glad we get to play a lot of Mass Effect today. Made some good progress. It was a great playthrough, and I look forward to seeing the Nerd Block video from the unboxing today, which was really kick-ass. Uh, I'll post it to the YouTube in the next two days. And I'm glad you came by again too, Softer. It was really good seeing everybody. Thank you all so much. And I'll see you over in Chris's chat. 
Hope you all have an awesome, awesome night.